What's up everybody, I'm Shade, welcome back to Become a Legend Episode 7 and we have a new season starting and I show you Cole's stats because they have uh, gone qu up quite a little bit even though he hasn't been playing that many matches in the in the last season but uh, starting off this season we actually change a bit our change, change our training up a bit and we actually start chasing a trait or what they what do they call it in PES it's traits in FIFA and abilities or something I think special abilities in PES so anyway we do start off uh, training the long range drive uh, special ability which Cole uh, of course um, his dad uh, Cole had ha as his first ability and uh, before we ac actually do start uh, talking about the gameplay I do want to mention that I'm kinda having a bad day like nothing in particular I'm just kinda not uh, not feeling it today and uh, I have been avoiding basically talking about like me or my channel in my series like videos lately just because like, like I'm not trying to do a vlog uh, I'm trying to like make uh, episodes and make uh, relevant stuff to the gameplay so uh, yeah that's that's about that so I'm just gonna talk about the gameplay now as that beautiful uh, looking volley from Cole Jr. just hits the goalkeeper and then comes on the rebound for Felipe but uh, this is a training match we do start off the season with a training match and it's against Motherwell, of course. Um, I think that when we were uh, playing last year with Cole, it in our in our second season, I'm not sure though. But in our second season, I'm pretty sure we already started skipping training matches just because we could afford to. You know what I mean? Because um, he we were just doing a lot better, and not just because like the series is a little different, especially because I'm really annoyed of the key delayed. But of course, of course, we started on professional this season. This, this uh, year, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, and uh, yeah, we are, we did get caught up, and we actually get substituted again, but this time we do get the, uh, the cutscene with uh, Cole just uh, being like, uh, basically letting us know that Cole is indeed having a good game, and it's he's not getting subbed because he was not having a good day, a good game. I was gonna say good day. He, he's um, Cole Jr. is also having a bad day apparently. But uh, he was the man of the match with an 8.0 match rating. And of course it was just a training match. Cole got a goal. Or did he get two goals? I'm not sure though. But uh, second match is the match day number one. And it's against Gremio. And Cole Jr. gets called up because his stats are better now. And because we are performing better now. But uh, the match day number one just start off, starts off, kicks off very, very badly for Atletico Paranaense. And uh, Gremio actually scored from the very first play of the match. But then look at this one opportunity. Cole Jr. gets the ball. And then with luck and with strength really. And then uses a, the little pace that he has. And then inside the box he just chips it past the goalkeeper from that angle. You probably weren't expecting uh, that kind of finish. And uh, neither was I to be honest. Uh, but uh, And neither was the keeper. That's why he got through. But... Like just how much confidence can you have as a, as a kid that just really started getting called up regularly for the first time team? He only had what was it uh, seven appearances last season and uh, and like official matches and three assists and two goals for a striker, which is not really a good record at all. And just to have the balls to do that, that was really good. But um, they get one back to to uh, to uh, get back in the lead two one with Vargas getting a, a chip of his own. Coles, Coles was better though just saying but yeah they are back in the lead and uh, I am only leaving a little bit of replay just to show you the final shot and uh, a good long ball here a header back to a player and that um, completely cancels out our already already horrible defense and they get another goal in front and the uh, stuff goes from bad to worse for Atletico Paranense we are now uh, trailing by two goals it is an away game, but uh, we are al always just looking to get at least a draw, you know what I'm saying? And especially from match day number one, you do not want to start it as a bad game. But look at this one, 1-2 one, with, the, with the teammate because they are also effective. And then inside the box, and then very unlucky to hit the post there with his uh, strong foot as well. Our finishing is, is uh, up at 75, by the way. I'm really, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know why they removed the boots to boost your uh, your uh, stats but look at this one by Cole already dribbled past two players will dribble past the third player we're gonna take a look another look at that but then he scores the absolute golasso and, and that really reminded me of um, 
of his dad of Cole from last year because he would always score a nice goals like that especially when the team was in need but I did leave a little bit of the, of the first replay here just to see how we got past the third man because that looked a little odd to me but then we see it clear here he just tackled too soon because it looked like we like we were playing on amateur and I'm, I know there's always going to be that one guy he's like oh you're playing an amateur because they can't even spell it but uh, really good dribble here and uh, he did make the tackle and actually made even a last ditch tackle like he made two tackles there but um, too little too late and we actually get subbed in the 87th minute why so late you ask well because uh, starting from the 63rd which is usually the time where Cole gets substituted it's not from the 63rd to the 87th minute the ball didn't go out of play but um, Cole, Cole finished the match with an 8.0 match rating again of course because we lost we cannot be the man of the match uh, however it was just a good performance from Cole and now the third match is against the uh, Portuguesa look at Cole just breaking through here and then he just positions himself and takes the shot and scores another goal so we are now getting called up every match and by the way look at that that sexy white kits I really like the white kit for Atletico Paranaense kinda looks like uh, the the Real Madrid kit and that like the good, good old days when it was just like plain white and like shiny white just looks really good I know but uh, look at that through ball by Cole and uh, the teammate here is inside the box and he actually puts it away I was um, I was kind of doubting that he will just because he kind of stalled a little bit and as you know defenders in Pez really catch up to you quickly like you think pace has been nullified in FIFA you don't have no idea about Pez but look at this tackle by Cole I just thought it was funny the way the teammate reacted from that tackle uh, that is the equivalent of a bitch slap in football because he made him look like a little bitch anyway they get one goal back here with the Yogo and uh, really good ball, really good long ball but then the finish, uh, another chip, like another scoop by, uh, over the goalkeeper and that uh, got him one goal back so 2-1 but that is what it finishes even though Cole got substituted again in the 63rd minute uh, hopefully that will stop soon because we just need more playtime it was nice last match that we got um, to play 87, 87 minutes but Cole another 8.0 rate match rating and another man of the match for Cole but uh, that's been this episode of become legend I hope you guys enjoy uh, if you wanna make my day a little better you can leave it a like but uh, otherwise I've been Shade again thank you for watching goodbye